On an historic day in the Carrier Dome on a snowy February Saturday here in Syracuse, the greatest of all time honored here in the Dome and a big crowd on hand for number one and number nine, the third all-time meeting between these two inside the Dome. Before the game, there's Logan McNaney, Maryland's starting goalie. His second year starting for the Terps had them within a goal of the national title last Memorial Day. He is a New York native. His counterpart has only been in Syracuse for about a month. The Virginia transfer, Bobby Gavin. He looked solid, Ryan, in his starting debut last week. This is going to be a whole new world for Bobby here today. Yeah, absolutely. I think that uh, you play a game of this magnitude in the dome. Goaltending and faceoff is uh, always super important. Two keys of the game will be the net minders and the faceoff X today. Well, the Fogos are Jacob Fopp and Luke Weir. game high and wide. Shot clock dwindling here. Cook on target, saves McNaney. Now you talk about the keepers, maybe not the hardest stop there, but a solid first one in the dome for Logan McNaney. On Maryland this year, with the graduated Jared Bernhardt who won the tour last year, saved by the helmet of Gavin. Six of them. The only thing you can't say he's done is win multiple national titles. If that's a marker against your record, that's pretty good. Saved by Gavin. Well, Gavin's looked solid here in the early going. The one goal, he wasn't going to stop that. Made two nice saves. Yeah, both goaltenders off to a pretty good start here today. Like I was saying, it's really super important that your net miners step up for the occasion and play big in the dome. Mikey Berkman, he was involved well last week. Through traffic, Berkman shot. Stopped by McNaney, who's had a hot start here in the dome. A week ago. Seabold will run out of the box here. Well, he'll get to the crease to Cook. Shot saved by McNaney. He's been hot here in the opening quarter. Ground ball scrum. Push. Maryland ball. Well, how about Logan McNaney? You know it, Ryan. Sometimes goalies come here into the dome, and it's too big for them, and you can't see the ball very well. That's not been the case for the Terps second year starter. Yeah, that was Syracuse's best shot of the afternoon. And uh, McNaney came up with a big time save, and he is playing very well. He's seeing the ball excellent. Brennan completes the clear. He's got the shorty behind. Dordovic, quick pass, and another save by McNaney, stopping Tyler Cordes, the freshman. Not taking anything away from McNaney, but Syracuse is making a lot of this pretty easy on him right now. There's been three of their five or six shots that I've seen so far that have been stick side high. You gotta make that goaltender move his stick. Not a lot of level changes. And you're right, he hasn't had to move a lot to make the saves. Makes the job a lot easier. Four saves already though for McNaney. Well, he's gotta get a move on here, just five to shoot. Running out of room. Wisnowskis for his third and a big save for Gavin. Big time save, much needed right now. See if Syracuse can come and get it right now. So Syracuse got to turn this thing around. Well turned aside, Gavin didn't see it. It almost got deflected into the net. Donville had the initial shot. Face off scrum, one picked up by Maryland Kahn. Cross crease, shot goes flailing high that time from Molliver. And the Orange end up with possession again. Perhaps lucky to avoid giving up a seventh. The guy that makes the back of the Maryland defense have to slide and go a little bit. This time Curry shoots off target. Snatched up regardless by McNaney. McNaney's on fire. I'm going to just tell you that right now. Let's be honest. He's on fire today. Transition. That was Jake Higgins denied by Gavin. That's a big save for the Orange. Week the Orange have number one today, and then the other number one on Saturday. Syracuse heads to Clocker to take on Virginia. Outside shot, they sprawling save by McNaney. It was almost like he tripped and stuck up his stick and kept it out. He's limping a bit behind the play. I'm not sure how he stopped that one. Transfer portal this year did some high level shopping with the likes of Khan, Donville, and Probilski. And again, McNaney well out of his crease into the box. And he took it all the way up the field. He's been roaming a lot today, and that will lead. Well, oh, off sides by Maryland. They didn't account for the goalie. Possession battle. Dordovic for 
Quinn to the crease. Berkman trying to golf it in, couldn't quite maintain. Siebold splits a triple team. Players in the key positions on the field. Well, McNaney is at 70% today. Ten shots on Cage, and he stopped seven of them. And we'll see, is he going to be one of the next line of great Maryland goalies with the likes of Kyle Burnlor and Nico Amato? Just the second year starting. Oh, don't forget about my man Brian Dock. Oh, we can't do that. The Doc was uh, the PLL announced the Pro Lacrosse Hall of Fame earlier this week, and there was no debate. Of course, uh, the Doc was the goalie. No debate. The guy is legendary. Awesome person, one of my best friends in lacrosse. Another save by McNaney. Brian Dockerty, how about this? It was uh, your brother's freshman year, that 95 title team for the Orange. And Syracuse wins the title. Brian Dockerty was so good in that Final Four that he was the most outstanding player in Maryland lost. And it's been coming from Dordovic and Lucas Quinn. Each of them have a hat trick. How about Owen Siebold for the tie? Stopped. Another save by McNaney. Looking for his fourth. Dordovic saved again by McNaney. Another great save there, but again, you see the placement of the shot selection. Stick side high. Great move by Dordovic. 23 to get his hands free. Bounce that shot. Get it up to a corner. Don't go right at the goaltender's stick. Well, we've said it time and time again today. McNaney's been outstanding, but his job is being made easier by Syracuse. It's being made easier right now, yes. But he is playing lights out. I like his energy, I like the clear game that he's been laying out there today. So very good net liner. Save for the save he made from his back diving to the side. That one not made easy. I'm still trying to figure out why he was on his back. I don't know. I don't know how he did that one, but it, it, it worked out. Terps ball. Jack Brennan had an early goal. Brennan. Late shot clock now. Cross crease wide open. And Gavin, his best of the day. He was at Virginia quite literally a month and a half ago. Lost the battle in the fall for goalie there with a freshman Matthew Nunes transfers to Syracuse and his second career game in an orange uniform is taken on number one. His third game next week will be against his old team. Here's Donville, the Cornell transfer. Long was Nowskis, another save by Gavin. And that's where Wisnowskis really operates. Talked all day long about Logan McNaney. After halftime now, Bobby Gavin, maybe his two best stops in the game. He's coming to life. And the Orange, a big position. Starting and stopping behind is Kyle Long. Oliver inside, Khan saved by the leg of Gavin. He's got three in a row. That was a good option with his blazing speed. Curry inside, a nifty pass, but the shot deflected wide, that was Quinn, who could not quite put it on McNaney's net. So that's very bad turnover. You've got an opportunity to score a goal with an extra man, and you're just throwing the ball away. Low shot stopped by Gavin, as he has come alive here in the third, denying Daniel Maltz. He 100% has come alive. Gavin is on fire right now. He's really keeping Syracuse in it. Maryland continues to get extremely high-quality shots, and he's been stepping up for the occasion and coming up with some big time saves. We find the back of the net, yet to today. Dordovic inside, shot stopped by Mac McNaney. That time denying Griffin Cook. Both goalies have made some really impressive stops here in the second half. Yeah, they really have. Getting great play out of the net miners on both ends of the field. And like I've been saying, you got to play solid, you got to play big in the big games, and uh, you're seeing a display of some great goaltending play all day today, really. Both in double figures. Do whatever it takes for the good of the team. Team first guys, major recruiting point. Shot was blocked. Bounce right back to Khan, and this time stopped by Gavin. A game effort today by the Orange, but Maryland just proved to be the better team this afternoon in the Dome. Final seconds will roll off here today, and Maryland has proved their worthiness as number one game effort by the Orange. But that guy, Logan Wisnowskis, came to his old stopping grounds and beat his old team today, 14 to 10. Ryan, a phenomenal effort today here by the Terps. Yeah, absolutely.